Good afternoon. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. In the most significant changes in our policy in more than 50 years, we will end an outdated approach that for decades has failed to advance our interests, and instead, we will begin to normalize relations between our two countries. Through these changes, we intend to create more opportunities for the American and Cuban people and begin a new chapter among the nations of the Americas. Yeah, keep dreaming, because I don't believe Congress is going to let them do that to uh, discuss that and some of the biggest stories of 2014. I'm joined once again by Rick Unger, co-host of Steel and Unger, and senior political contributor for Forbes.com. All right, um, this just shows me who this man is. Uh, he's reached out to every dictatorial thug in the world while he slapping hasn't. people like uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, if he could, he'd sit down, if he was still alive, with Hugo Chavez, who he hugged, uh, with Castro brothers, with uh, the Ayatollah of Iran, and he would shun and spit in the face of Benjamin Netanyahu. That's who he is. But thankfully, I don't think the Congress is going to give him what he wants on this. Despite your overstatement, yes. your rather dramatic overstatement, I actually think this is probably a good idea. I really do. For one thing, you do have to agree the policy we've been pursuing 54 years hasn't accomplished the goal. There, you know, we have a tendency here to look at this only from our point of view without seeing the, the more macro picture. Look at what's happening in Cuba and why they may have been motivated to make a deal with us. Venezuela has always been their key partner. Venezuela is falling apart unbelievably quickly. They cannot rely on Venezuela anymore. Russia has certainly got its problems. China is not spending the money in Cuba they once did. The Cubans may have finally gotten to the point where they're going, you know, we don't have a lot of choices left. We may have to deal with the United States if that's the case. What did, they, what did they give? What deal did they make? They took. They didn't give anything. Well, we don't we know. We got we'll Alan Gross back. We'll see what they're going to give politically. No, it's not just a question of that. And you know what everybody keeps forgetting? And my friend, the ex-CIA agent who I spoke to last night was ecstatic. There was a Cuban-American Yeah, I know, who they let out. All who right. we got back, okay. who did a lot for us. Okay. So we should mention that. All right. But, the, yeah. but if we may be able to have an impact, but most importantly... We may be able to get Cuban cigars finally. Yeah, I know that is the most important. Of course, smoking is evil and bad, and don't do it. But if it's Cuban but cigars, if it's Cuban, oh, then it's wonderful. They're awfully I've never good. seen such a bunch of hypocrites in the media in my life. All right, let's move on. Uh, we got a lot to get to. Of course, uh, Ferguson and the whole police unrest I've again. Heard of it. Again, you got Obama and Holder who can't get the words out of their mouth. Hey, teach your kids to respect the police. Can't say it. Uh, and that's what they're fomenting, and that's what's happening, and that's what I they heard, want. So I they could blackmail. Holder say it before never, I got here. Never. So they could blackmail every single police department with their federal funds. Obama so much has said that, well, we can't control them, but we give them funds, and if they don't do what we want, then maybe the funds are harder to come by. That's their goal. Could somebody bring Steve a box of Kleenex well, for, what's, his, what, for what's, his Obama what am I saying? allergy? It's, it's, all, it's all true. It's all I true. actually think they did a pretty darn good job trying to stay in the middle of this. Oh, Obama and, 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 and Holder? I really do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you expect of them. I expect them to go on the side of law enforcement, not the thugs in the street and the thug Michael Brown who and, punched and the cop. And you don't think that they should have some sympathy for a situation that is happening around the country? Now, you know that on Ferguson, I've kind of taken your side. All we have to go by is what the grand jury gives us because we weren't there. Right. We didn't see And anything. we weren't there in but Staten you know Island what? either. Yeah, but we saw a video of what happened in so Staten So what? Island. It wasn't so a choke hold? Wait, 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 and, wait. And, and we didn't hear the testimony matter. from here's, 60 witnesses over nine here's, weeks. Here's what you miss. There may not be enough, because I always say there may be extraneous evidence that happens before it, that happens after it. That's why you have trials. The point of a grand jury is if there is a low bar met of, okay, this guy should stand trial. Then you put him what on trial. What law did he, he break? What law did he break? He killed. Oh, uh, he didn't do an illegal homicide. Yes, he, he did. He didn't do an illegal hold. It's not about that. This is what everybody missed. I don't think he broke any laws. So then you're until, not indicted until until he got to the second or third. I can't breathe, and he refused well, to let up. Well, you know what? I'll That's go on the side of the grand jury. Homicide. Oh, I'll go on the side of the grand jury who heard from witnesses, sixty witnesses, or evidence, or from doctors. I, I mean, and and saw three or four videos and said. No one died. And then did what the prosecutor I'll, I'll told them. them to do like they always Okay. Did. We also have the MH17, a Malaysian airline. One, one airline uh, was shot out of the sky, yeah. apparently by Russian rebels. Uh, support of Russia and the other one just disappeared. We'll never find it. We also have Ray Rice. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, I don't know. The midterm elections, the landslide elections. Anything good happened this I year? I mean, all these, these are all, uh, these are all interesting topics. Some of them are very unfortunate, but they're all interesting. Anyway, so uh, 015. 
Could oh, it top? I mean, wait, wait, one, one. We got ten seconds. I'm, I'm always an optimist. I always think every year is going to be better than the last. And I'm a pessimist on. Uh, no if, kidding. With Obama in office, no kidding. I don't know. Coming up next, <laughs> Cindy Sheehan interview I did. Don't miss it.